installing a fuel filter on the engine just underneath the cowling of a Suzuki DF140A. There's the part number 15412-92 Juliet 00. I got this on Amazon, I believe, fairly cheap. To access it, zoom out here. Take the cowling off, obviously. Take the right panel off, the starboard side panel, because this thing's located on the starboard side. My engine today has about 380 hours on it. I've never changed this out. Just this last weekend, um, the boat shut off on me one time, so I don't know if the fuel filter might have an issue, but I've never got a warning from it. So anyway, take this piece off, or just this little connector, some kind of sensor connector. This will unscrew, e well, it's tough to start. I use some pliers to start, so you might need to do that. But then when you pull it out, it's got fuel in it, so keep that in mind. Uh, the filter came out with it. I'll see if I can set this here. Get down there. Take the filter. Hold on. All right. Slid the filter out. Some fuel might come out of it. That's the old filter. It's all brown. Don't know what color it was originally. Put that there on the trim tab. However, the new filter is green. So I'm going to go ahead and reinstall or install that. It just, you can see right there. It just clicks right in place. Listen. I don't know if you can hear it click, but that was click. The O-ring holds it in place. We're going to put this. Well, let's look inside there. Fuel looks good. This fuel is filtered twice before it gets here anyway. Once through an inline fuel filter right outside the tank. And then once through a fuel water separator. So I'm pretty confident that there's nothing really wrong with the fuel. Um, so my problem might be something else. But anyway, it wasn't really a problem. Just did it one time. I think it's the idle. Since I put everything back together after redoing this boat, um, I think I need to adjust back here. But we just click it back together. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. All there is to it. Now, I've seen videos before where people said that this issue is it's kind of a notorious issue with these Suzuki engines. Like I said, I have 380 hours of having you had a problem. But that's that's how you reinstall that or install a new one of those. Um, I'm gonna have to put this panel back on. Panel's laying right down over there. It's quick and easy. I kept this. I've shown you this in my other video if you watch my um, video on changing the motor oil in this thing. I highly recommend keeping this bag of tools when you get your new engine. There's stuff in there that you can utilize that's gonna come in very handy. For instance, to get the side panel off this thing will be used. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven screws or bolts holding it on. So I'll use that. And I usually use this thing to break them. Um, and maybe a spark plug. Yeah, it looks like a spark plug wrench. Got a little rubber grommet in there. I don't know what that one's for. But anyway, um, this bag of tools comes in handy. So I highly recommend keeping it got a screwdriver flip it around I think it's a Phillips head on the other side um, I can't remember if this Allen wrench was in there I might have put it in there but I, I think it was in there because I think it it's the same size as the plug to undo your oil if you're gonna change your oil that's the plug to drain so I believe that comes with it also there's your this side of the, I, I will say this um, this side of the engine you got your fuel filter you also have your oil filter and your oil plug. You can access the uh, your controls here, your throttle and your shift cables. Um, that's really all you're going to be messing with on this side of the engine that's down here beneath this the cowling piece. But it is it does make it kind of nice because if you're changing your oil, you might as well go ahead and put a new fuel filter in here. I think this thing costs like five to ten dollars, so you might as well change it when you're changing the oil. It doesn't hurt anything. So. You know, I was kind of not really digging the place where they put this. It's on this mounted on this rail system here. Um, it's a, it looks like a fuel rail. They could have just raised this up a little bit. I should, oops, I'm sorry. I wasn't showing you. They could have just raised this up a little bit. That's my opinion, and then made it easily accessible while the engine just the cowling's off, not the side panel. So let's say you're out to sea. You got an issue well that would be easy to check it's not easy to check you'd have to jump in the water take that off real pain so or you could take these off i guess but you're not going to be doing that at sea probably so anyway that's a quick easy way of looking at uh 
the side of the engine to change the fuel filter on a Suzuki DF-140A. I think my engine is a 2017. I'm sure the models are the same for tons of years. All right, good luck.